Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to be looking in the ponds at Little Bellhurst Country Park. Little Bellhurst is in South Essex. You may be able to hear the traffic noise from the M25, which is about 40 metres that way, if that. The site is actually an old landfill site. It's still being worked on, but this area here has probably been left alone for five or 10 years. I've already seen some bee orchids this morning, but I'm gonna focus my survey in on this large pond behind me. Well, all I've done is fill up the tray of water and already there's loads of stuff in here. There's a, I say a little ostracod, it's little compared to the other creatures, but quite big for an ostracod here. And there's a little water fleas buzzing around it. There's a few of these pond snails. Could be wandering pond snail. I'll have to have a closer look a bit later and see what they are. And, and also some freshwater shrimps. And I can hear a kingfisher, <laughs> I think, somewhere over there. Freshwater shrimps are not true shrimps, but are members of another group of crustaceans called the amphipods. But the niche they fill in ponds is similar to what shrimps do in the sea feeding on pretty much anything edible. Usually dead, but sometimes they take live prey, like this one that's eating a water flea. Well, that's a good start. I'll grab my net now and see what's in the pond. We've already seen these two species of beetle. These look like one of the medium-sized species, as I call them. It's either an artus or agabus or something. We've got a bunch of water lice here. There's this juvenile Bactrima, or Bactrima nymph, great water boatman nymph. Oh, look at that, new tadpoles. Some bigger water lice. Some of the large water lice were big males that were mate guarding females. Something I'll be talking more about in an upcoming episode on these wonderful crustaceans. So make sure you subscribe to see that. Loads more snails and a pond skater nymph popping around. I'm gonna have another scoop around as well. I've now added the second pole to my net, so I've got a bit more reach. Let's see what I can find. There's even more in there now, more pond skaters. These newt tadpoles are at different stages of development. We've got some here with just their front legs. Unlike frog and toe tadpoles, which grow the rear pair of legs first, newt tadpoles grow their front pair of legs first. These yellow coloured tadpoles, with shorter fingers and lacking a tail filament, shows they are not great crested newts, but are tadpoles of one of the two smaller species, smooth or palmate newt. And given we're in South Essex, and the pond is not acidic in any way, it suggests a smooth newt is the most likely species. This site is a bit of a dragonfly hotspot, so I was hoping to get some nymphs today. So far, no luck, but I might get lucky later. And there has been the odd adult flying around as well, but it's a bit of a grey day, so there's not too much activity on the adults either. Just done a little dip in this ditch here, put all the poles on and went straight out. And like you can see my finger here, look at the size of this great diving beetle I've got. I quickly got it out of the tray. I had to use the lid of the pot because it's too big for my spoon. And the reason I took it out of the tray is, if I left it in there within a few minutes, Pretty much everything in it would have been eaten. These things are ferocious. Just found a second, much smaller one. Now, if I put that in the same pot as the other one, it'd be eaten pretty quickly. Along with the adults, great diving beetle larvae are probably the top predators in this pond. I've come a little bit further down the pond through the meadow, and there's another little gap in the reeds and rushes. So I have a little dip in there, and I finally found this some dart dragonfly nymphs. So I've got some dragonflies, so that's cool. Darters are the smallest of the dragonflies, and so, perhaps unsurprisingly, have the smallest nymphs. But despite their size, they're no less predatory, and like all dragonfly nymphs, have the extendable mouth parts they use to catch their prey, which strike at great speed. But I've run out of time now, so I'm going to have to call it a day there. But as you can see, I've found lots of cool stuff. Hope you enjoyed the episode. 